Our scripture reading is taken from Mark 9, verse 2 to 4. Jesus is seen with Moses and Elijah. Six days later, Jesus took Peter, James, and John and went up on a high mountain. They were all alone there. While these followers watched him, Jesus was changed. His clothes became shining white, whiter than anyone on earth could make them. Then two men were there talking with Jesus. They were Elijah and Moses. This is the word of the Lord. Morning, brothers and sisters. Today I'm grateful for the opportunity to share my interpretation of the scripture. And I thank God for his guidance and what I've learned while preparing for this devotion. So this event is referred to as the transfiguration. Transfiguration means a complete change of form or appearance into a more beautiful or spiritual state. I have three reflections on the scripture. God took his three disciples, Peter, James and John, to the top of a mountain. Jesus was like a lighthouse or a beacon at the top of that mountain and it's like a promise that Jesus can and will be noticed. A lighthouse is used as a guide to where to go and as Christ followers and believers, our goal is to go towards Jesus to grow and become more and more like Christ. I'm sure I'm not generalizing when I say that life for all of us has been difficult or different in the last 18 months and that the only way we could continue to carry on day after day was through having hope. Hope that our loved ones will get healed. Hope that our situations will change and an unwavering trust in our Lord Jesus Christ. Use the image of Jesus on the mountain as your beacon of hope and the one to whom we can look to in times of trouble. Verse 3 says, His clots became dazzling white, whiter than anyone in the world could bleach them. This was again a display of Jesus' glory. It was a change in the outside that comes from the inside. The connotation of white, and when we think dazzling white, is purity, brightness, majesty, radiance. I often joke and say that I never recall seeing the light when I had a cardiac arrest and almost died back in 2017. But what I can say is that living a life after having been saved by God just makes me look forward to the day that I will be at God's side like Moses, Elijah, and everyone else who's gone before us. At the Transfiguration, Jesus stands amongst very impressive company. Moses was the law and Elijah the prophets. The three disciples saw right in front of them evidence of life beyond this life. I was reading the autobiography of Reverend Desmond van der Water, and the last part of his book is themed Living with Ambiguity, Journeying Towards the Beyond. And he says Jesus is both present and returning at the end of time. And those reflections of his actually ties in with the scripture. So today I'd like to encourage you to have hope for a brighter future. No matter what your current circumstances are today, a future where we will be transfigured to a beautiful or spiritual state at the side of our Lord Jesus. Look to the beacon of hope on the mountaintop. Our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ who performed various miracles captured in the Bible and continues to show His Majesty every day in the lives of those around us. I leave you with this poem by Nikki Banas, Hope. If you only carry one thing throughout your entire life, let it be hope. Let it be hope that better things are always ahead. Let it be hope that you can get through even the toughest of times. 
Let it be hope that you are stronger than any challenge that comes your way. Let it be hope that you are exactly where you are meant to be right now and that you are on a path to where you are meant to be. Because during these times, hope will be the very thing that carries you through. When the oceans rise and fall, do 
is wrong I will soar with you above the storm Oh yes I will Father you are king over the flood Jesus, today we say thank you, Lord, that you were able to minister to us through your scriptures, Lord. We look towards you, Lord. We look towards the light, Lord, and we want to lead our lives to be pleasing in your sight and to become more and more like you. Lord, give us hope. We it seems as though there is no way forward, Lord Jesus. Pray for those who are ill, for those who have lost family members and who are trying to adapt to life without those family members, Lord. And we pray for those who are struggling. Lord, work through those of us who are fortunate to give of our time, our resources, and our companionship to those in need. Bless us through this day in Jesus' name. Amen.